Hello and welcome, today we'll be doing something a little bit different. A while ago I made a video talking about the effect that um, tipped arrows have when entering a um, upwards lifting bubble column within Minecraft. Or for those who don't really understand what I'm talking about, what happens when you fire a um, NC arrow into a um, bubble elevator. Well if you watch that video then you already know what happens. Basically it goes to the top and just keeps on releasing its particles, which is pretty cool. And you can also use it for traps and stuff because if you're in survival mode and you go up in the water elevator, you'll get hit by the arrow and you'll get the effect. But today I'm talking about what it can be used aesthetically. For example, let's start off over here. Now, of course, the first thing you think of when you make one, potions. You can make it for a, um, look like you're making potions in a cauldron or whatever and honestly this looks really cool and awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this would be really really cool and if you're making a, wanting to make a um, whatever it's called, a build where you have a magic potion cauldron, you cannot make a magic potion cauldron without these effects and of course they can come in any colours and it can also be multicoloured. For example, as I show over here, you can have it so that you don't have as, as many effects by only putting in one, two, or three arrows, and you can even have them in different colours. For example, I put one green arrow, one white arrow, and one red arrow in this music box to make it sort of have a um, musically theme feel to it. I don't know, but I like it. You can also use it to enhance or things that you've already made. For example, this isn't the best example to be honest, I kind of was a bit lazy with this video because I didn't have much time, but if you wanted to make a magic tree, you can add these um, sort of arrow effects around it. You can put, even make if your tree is big enough, little bits here and there throughout the tree to um, sort of give it a feel to it, I don't know, just to, um, it's sort of like a background feel to it something you can use to enchant it, like for example in build battle they let you do particle effects and stuff, this is similar except you can do it in survival. And you can even um, use it for things like magic towers, this is not the best looking magic tower to be honest, but you can see what I mean. And it's not too hard either, as long as you can um, hide it properly you can do it, and to make a um, bubble column isn't that hard either, all you need is three spaces, one for the um, soul sand, two for the water, and that's it. In fact you could even do it on one if you know how to well enough, I usually do two because it's easier to shoot the uh, arrows in two. But um, yeah, that's about it for this video, I know it's a short one and I know I didn't do much, but I just thought that it would be really cool to show you the sort of stuff you can do with a um, with these types of tipped arrows when it comes to aesthetics. They're not just for combat, they're also for decoration. So um, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, if you didn't please leave a dislike. If you um, want to watch more of my videos you can subscribe, if you already were subscribed and you're, dis and you're disappointed with the quality of the videos I've uploaded, you can unsubscribe I suppose if you want to. And feel free to leave a comment telling me how much you like my videos or how much you hated it. I don't mind either way. But um, thank you for watching and goodbye.